What's up, air signs? It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with a weekend message for the weekend vibes. And this is for the weekend of April 1st through the 3rd, y'all, 2022. All right, so we rolling into a brand new month today. All right, so without further ado, let's hop right in for Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. Holy Spirit, angels, and sisters, and spirit guides. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for air signs as it pertains to their weekend vibes for the weekend of April 1st through the 3rd. 2022 was coming in for my air signs. Y'all running out of patience for what? New beginning. Maybe the wait is over. Okay. Yeah. Y'all tired of resistance. All right. So some of y'all, that, that can be the energy that y'all in. A bit of frustration. It's like your new beginning is so close that you can taste it, but it's kind of like, okay, when is the wait over? All right. So my thing is y'all need to I don't know, y'all. I mean, it's just so crazy that we keep on getting resistance. I mean, not resistance, but protection in reverse, okay? So, somebody is definitely finding a way about around your protective barriers. And maybe you need to up the ante when it comes down to your uh, spiritual protection is what I'm getting here. Or this can be just anything, guys. This can be... Um, protecting codes you know what i'm saying like changing your past codes of uh, making sure that your security on certain things that people can hack into is protected because it's looking like a new beginning is right at the forefront you tired of being left out in the cold i'm noticing on the outside it's the winter time but coming in here is like the spring and it's like this could be something you was expecting it's like at the break of spring you was expecting some type of new beginning but there's continuing to be resistance okay for some of you i'm getting that it's somebody else that's holding on to your energy so tight that it's hard for you to go into a new cycle because energetically this person is stopping your growth okay so that could be the reason why protection is needing to be implemented okay the unexpected is in reverse here and nourishment as well. It's like the universe is ready to rain uh, certain blessings down on you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how. That's another reason how y'all can get out of this energy of being uh, prone to spell work is rise out of the vibration that can align with uh, it working in your life. So you know, some some of us, some of y'all, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it gotta be healthier eating you know what i'm saying that way you can raise your vibration from the inside out and have coherent energy centers so that they can't be weakened by outside energies okay so let's go ahead and pull a couple more for air signs and then we're gonna get into it with some tarot okay so i'm gonna clarify resistance but yes this is definitely a force around you that feels like it uh yeah and it's like your commitment is being tested so even though you running out of patience okay i cut myself off so let's rewind there's a force around you that's definitely you know trying to keep you small i see you trying to grow through the cracks like roses through concrete but you know at the end of the day whoever this is it's like they definitely have a desire to try to keep you small even though it's like through the fist it's all type of grass and stuff growing but it's stagnating your growth like if this person was to release you then obviously you'll take full bloom okay it's saying your commitment is being tested and this is the four, first quarter moon all right so what i'm getting from that with this patience in reverse it's like are you going to fold or are you going to persevere? Like, you know, because this person is kind of one of you or this force. Because I'm not even going to say it's a person. It can be a, you know, a, a myriad of different individuals that's coming into your life with the same type of energy. And so that's why I feel like it's a force rather than a... Uh, individual okay so you know a force keeps coming up against you trying to cause resistance and it's like you could be losing your patience you could be frustrated but it's like are you going to be um resilient are you going to persevere or are you going to back down so that's why i'm saying your commitment is being tested because you know what your purpose is you know what your path is you know that you know you uh when when you reach new levels you're gonna reach new devils 
but are you going to give in to what it is that they want because they want you to surrender to them rather than continuing to surrender to your path and your north node and the divine you know and what it is that you know uh is going to lead you to the promise that's over your life your birthright okay so let's get patience in reverse So, and this can be in many areas of your life, guys. It doesn't have to just be love. It definitely can be, you know, your career path. I really feel like for most of you, it's your path. It's saying be bold and be the real you. Uh, be bold and make the first move, okay? And that was in reverse. So, that's the thing. Um, you're being asked to step out of your comfort zone. Like, you can't just wait for the blessings to come to you. You actually have to you know, meet your blessings halfway. So it's like if if because some type of resistance was taking place, it's, it slowed up your boldness or like your ability to be able to think outside of the box, be yourself and not worry about whether it's going to continue to be resistance. Like I feel like this resistance or this force that you coming up against air signs it could be um creating boundaries and comfort zones that could be stagnating you as well so that's kind of like a, a an illusion being created to make you feel like you know something can't happen or won't happen but it's like the very essence of the thought is um that is manifesting that in the physical for you guys okay so it's more about your own mindset rather than this force okay the force is planting the seeds and you allowing it to grow okay sometimes you gotta you know you gotta exterminate what don't belong okay so when somebody is planting seeds or projecting energies you know the way that they want you to feel about yourself or the way that they actually feel about themselves you know so that they can gain your power and they can diminish your confidence you know so it says a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer, okay? So some of you guys can be cancers, dealing with cancers or have cancer in your chart, all right? But what I'm definitely getting is that this energy of, you know, um, I don't know. I feel like this is somebody really close to you as well. Yeah, and this person seeing you growing and elevating. I feel I feel a sense of somebody not wanting to be left behind or something because it's one leaning on the other. And so you could have been the stronger spiritual energy within the connection. And this person could have been getting nourishment from your energy here. You know, they could have even been growing. But this has been going on long enough. I'm noticing she's holding a clock here. Yeah, blossoming is in reverse here. So somebody else is getting growth and the other one is not blossoming and it's because your energy is muddled with this person's energy with an energy that is not yours okay so that's why you know again it's like if you are implementing tactics of protection and you feel like it's not worth working then it's something that has to be detoxed or purified whether it's the actual vessel you know again whether you need to fast and actually cleanse you know your inner body or whether you have to uh expunge yourself of this person's energy you know basically try your best to sever ties and i know that that can be hard depending on whatever type of uh connection it is but you know just as well as this person is yeah release and reverse this person don't want to release you and that's what's hard it's like this person is clinging on to you energetically yeah unexpected yeah i feel like this person just kind of came into your life y'all might have mirrored each other in some kind of way but like i said you could have been further along in your spiritual journey than this person we got prosperity ahead you guys could be dealing with a taurus gemini energy as well cancer all right but yeah guys i mean overall i'm just really seeing that um that this is a week that this is actually gonna reach reach some type of resolution so maybe, you know, even with uh, with all of this that they've been doing, whatever it is that they're doing, but again, they cling it on to you energetically and refusing to let you go into your new cycle. Okay, yeah, with release and reverse being here, but with purity being in reverse as well, that's letting me know that you guys need to do all y'all can. Do some research. Go to a shaman. You know, pay a professional if you have to. If it's to that point, okay, where you just feel like you tried everything and you just can't get this person out your energy. 
but yeah, it's time for some of us to do like a full body cleanse, you know. And for women, you know, yoni stings and obsidian yoni eggs to just kind of uh, stop allowing these energies to be connected to our lower chakras, you know, where they still pull an energy from there. Uh, even if you're not being intimate with that person anymore, you know, it's like because they have once had access to that, they still know how to pull from your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, as well as your root chakra and have all of those energies. I mean, have all, yeah, have all of those energy centers incoherent to the point where, uh, you, they manifesting off of, off of, you know what I'm saying? Your creativity. And some of you guys are feeling creatively blocked. And that's the reason why you are feeling unable to step out of your comfort zone to go to this next level, which normally is pretty effortless for you to do. Okay? But, um, yeah. Alright, so, uh, we just gonna pull a collective reading. I'm not breaking the readings up anymore because I have to upload for too many different platforms. So, guys, check me out over on TikTok, especially if this one didn't resonate for y'all because the messages do be different from here to over there okay and that's where i've been posting the most lately so let's see all right holy spirit so when it comes down to this uh general spread for aquarius libra and gemini can we get some expansion on that um what's coming in for the weekend vibes the star okay so you guys are evolving out of this finally yeah, somebody was trying to dim your light here with the sun in reverse, you know, and they was hoping that you wasn't going to be able to see or know who it was that the uh, the unexpected is in reverse. It's like they didn't expect you to be able to find out that it was them because honestly, y'all was so close and y'all was supposed to be meant to be something greater than, you know, uh, than a codependent situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like y'all was supposed to help each other grow. I do feel like this is somebody that's still watching, possibly from the sidelines, but that's all they can do, okay? This person may have tried to expose you in some type of way, show some type of receipts, made some type of announcement. They did something, but whatever they did, they 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 did this with, a, with the intention of, um, and this is a very throw stones and hide your hands type of person. They did it with the intentions to be able to dim your light definitely like i said with purity coming out in reverse kind of make you look like you basically like tarnish your name you know but you are the star okay and i do feel like you have healed from this situation and that was something that had to be done you have released the resentment or that's something that's needing to be done Okay, yeah, with the food. Yeah, I'm telling you, you guys are being asked to step outside of your comfort zone because not enough movement has been made because this person is draining your ashe. Yeah. And they finding ways to connect to you to make you look at this. Ten of ten of pentacles in reverse. This person wants you to lose your legacy. This person is finding ways to connect to you to make you feel like you you still love them, even though they've done all of this. Stuff. This person isn't bold enough to make the first move, even though they feel some kind of way. So they just do things to manipulate things in the ethers, okay? I don't care what that is. Whether it's telepathy, you know, astral projection, whatever it is that they doing, even magic, you know, just sending you abundance of energy, overwhelming your energy, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case, whatever they're doing. Spending a lot of time watching you, thinking about you, looking at pictures of you. You know what I'm saying? All of these things. But whatever this person is doing to try to resist releasing you, okay? It, it's, it's like keeping you from closing out this cycle and going towards whatever your uh, Ten of Pentacles is meant to be. Yeah, this person is in the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Oh, boy. I don't feel like their plan was well thought out. They didn't think about the consequences. And even if they did at the time, they felt like they didn't care. You know what I'm saying? But when something happened to you, you care more than what you think you're going to care. Okay? So why is the star here? So, so far we got Aries, Aquarius, you know, a couple times. Yeah, this person can no longer sabotage you. Yeah. And they try to do this behind closed doors for sure. Y'all, look at this. The star, the star to the star in reverse. I'm telling you. People is definitely trying to get you off your path. 
sway you away from your north node okay even if they wasn't doing that up in your face like telling you something wasn't for you you know then they was definitely doing that behind the scenes or passive passively passive aggressively yeah you no longer in alignment for these individuals yes i'm telling you you stand enough for yourself with this activist energy here a lot of you guys are going towards the person that you're really supposed to be going towards to begin with. Whoever this person is that we're talking about that you're leaving behind that's trying to resist that. Um, this person, I mean, maybe they were supposed to hold some type of weight, but they abused their position. And I feel like they lost their title. Yeah, main male and main female. This is something that can no longer be stopped. Okay? So I feel like not only are you guys losing y'all patience. But also, the universe is testing y'all patience as well. I also think for some of you, this person can be refusing to let go and probably trying to come back around, send a message or whatever the case is. Because, you know, they may know that this is coming back together. Okay, that's why I'm saying your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to your mission, your path, your self, you know, your self-worth. Because whoever this is, this person tried to diminish you. And so that would be, you know, no matter how connected you feel to this person, you should feel more connected to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Than to deal with somebody that will try to take you down through there on this level. You know what I'm saying? So why is the fool here? Ooh, y'all. Y'all, wealthy male. I'm telling you, somebody else is going to come. They coming in. Somebody else is coming in. All right, this could even be that person because I'm kind of getting this energy. Look how the fool is looking down at something. And I feel like this person does spiritually watch you. Okay, it's something around this person that is warning them not to do what they've been doing. And even to come towards you because they know like, they don't have a right to. They are a king of pentacles energy. So... I'm getting very much like Aries Taurus cusp energy. And for some of you Leos, I'm telling you, but they blocked from your energy. They blocked from your energy. They can't no longer send this energy towards you. So some of them, they got to take a leap of faith. And they might, this is crazy that this is the fool and it's April Fool's Day. Okay, so for some of you, it may be today. Okay, why is the eight of wands in reverse? Yeah, this person can't block you. Look at this. They was blocking your prosperity. This is a 35 reduced down to an 8 and then an 8 of wands. 8-8. Eight, eight. This person been doing this for lifetimes. 8-8-8-8. Eight, 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 eight. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, why is the 8 of cups in reverse? I'm telling you, this person been doing all of this while still being in love with you. Y'all wealthy. Yeah, sudden wealth in reverse. So this person lost their wealth. They lost their Ten of Pentacles with you. Okay, so all of this resistance and all of this stuff, it's like you lost patience for having a new beginning with this person. Now you're going towards somebody that you're more paired with. Okay, yeah, look at this. It could be a masculine um, ancestor that's leading you to the path of your official person, your actual person. Because whoever this is, they was just playing a role in your face. And behind your back, they was doing nefarious things in order to convince you that this was the situation that was going to lead you to the promised land or something. Okay, yeah. This person, they could have left you for money or something like that. Now they coming back to you poor. They done lost it all. Why is the wealthy male here? Yeah, this person, bad health. Okay, so this person could just be recovering from something. That's what I'm seeing. Or they was going, yeah, huh, recovering from a karmic. Okay, what about this karmic put them in bad health? Okay, yeah. Finan they finances. Oh my gosh. So they was taking energy from you and they was putting it into this situation. Because we got the sun card here. So it can be unexpected things happening in this person's life. Like a new child possibly with a karmic. And they were stressed out about that. Yeah, they could have been stressed out about that because they was planning on coming back towards you. And now this situation is happening, which is basically going to put them in a poor house. This person realizes that they settled for less. All right. When they left you, they lost their legacy 
because whoever they with, they not meant to have a legacy with this person. Okay, they under review at this time is what I'm getting. Some of them already been through review and that's the reason why they're in this poverty energy and this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which was supposed to be with you, is closed out. This person no longer have access to this. Now they going through the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, they're going through misfortune because they ain't speak up enough. Now you collabing with somebody else. You collabing and celebrating with somebody else that you're going to end up married to. Okay, with the Empress, the Three of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. All right, something can start off as work. Then you may start getting closer to this person. But this situation is leading to our success. It's no longer meant for you to continue to cycle. I'm getting eights everywhere. So, yeah. It's like while you gain a new opportunity, success, positive attention after a period of having to wait a really long time with this patience in reverse. It's like this person is repeating a karmic cycle where they missed out on the opportunity. Y'all, and this is happening this weekend, y'all. This is over. This is over. I'm getting that this person is blocked. And now the weight that they tried to put on you is going to be on them because they just got some unexpected news that they don't like. You know, and with this great fortune, it's like y'all going to be living y'all best life. Y'all could be po possibly like, I don't know. I mean, this, I feel like spirit is just telling you all the way ahead of time. Um, oh, yeah. For some of y'all, this person just found out that they, you know, that they having a baby with this karmic. Y'all, and they wanted a divorce. They could have been in the process of a divorce and wanting to come towards you. But now they have to possibly hold off on that. And you just feel like this person just two-faced as hell. Like, they never came forth. It just was a lot, you know. They possibly hid other children. Now they just having kids on top of God dang on kids. And, you know, it's like, damn. They just feel like they digging themselves a deeper hole. Now they feeling like, for some of y'all, they just gonna end up walking away. Because they know it's nothing that they can do. Alright? But for others of you... This person, they going to try to at least put a wedge in between you and this person that you got that's coming in for you. But this is the end, y'all. This is the end. So y'all might have to be extremely made up when it comes down to this because you you coming into a situation where prosperity lies. Y'all going to have a prosperous new beginning. And I feel like it's supposed to be starting this month, because I'm seeing this like April showers kind of energy. You coming out of this cold energy of the winter time. So for some of y'all, y'all just been, you know, it ain't no telling. Y'all could have been, um, you know, held up by this person for many moons, especially coming to the point where you are um, lacking the patience to continue to wait for a situation. It's kind of like, damn, you know, you've been waiting a long time. So, the wait is over, guys. I feel like if y'all haven't already met the person that y'all going to collaborate with next, and it could start off as a friendship, um, a group thing, or even a work situation, but it's going to blossom into love. The more prosperity that's being gained, the more y'all celebrate, the closer y'all get. And then that, that has the opportunity to lead to message, like uh, marriage and a divine child of your own. For those of you that still want and can have children, okay? Alright guys, so that's been y'all weekend message. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.